Hello there. So today we are going to run stainless steel. It's a very simple application on the DM1100C cross belt machine, which has just two cross belts in the machine that you see here. One in the front and one in the back. The front one runs right to left, the back one runs left to right. You set the table height for the material thickness and you set the height of the carriage for the grinding pressure. So, but before we do that, I want to tell you two things. Number one, and I'm going to flip the camera here. We only have stainless steel in two different material thicknesses. You have 10 gauge material sitting over here in this pipe. And then all the rest of what you see on the table is 16 gauge. Um, we have all exceptionally good cuts, very nice and clean. You will see that, that'll clean up very good. With the exception of this pile here on the left. There you see that we have a dross. And unfortunately this dross is just in the narrow part where it is like surface. There is nothing for the brushes to grab on the inside. So if you look at the non-burr side and you see a very nice piece of edge rounding, this is a part that I ran as a test, but on the burr side, you can see because this is in this narrow curve, not on the wider curve, yeah, like you have in the center or on the right side where the cut is good. And there, the brushes cannot remove this little bit of dross. So if you have a bad cut, and, and these pieces are nice and clean, you don't, do not have that issue here, at least not very pronounced. This will clean up fine. It was just this pile. Then you would have to um, take a pound sander and uh, pound sand this, just this section down to where it is flat and that dross is removed. The second thing that I want to say is because we have all these very similar materials, what I will do today is I will not run at different speeds. We will all run it at the same and I will demonstrate to you how we are, um, how quick we can go through a few parts like this. It's 57 pounds of stainless steel here. So what we're going to do here today is we are going to run these parts not at different speeds, but we will run them all in, a, in a, like a production mode. And I will show you how fast we can switch between them. Now we can, I already turned the machine on. It is all set correctly with the pressure and everything. And it is always an advantage to start with a larger part. You can always take the smaller part and add it in the machine like this. And the larger part of the A little bit spaced out so that the brush can, can uh, attack them well. Forget to go to the back and pick up hard. So that's how we go. We have to go good.
That's like I said. get an idea about how many parts you actually can run at um, three feet a minute I mean you see how quick they disappear in there so if you had hundreds of them it would be a lot easier uh, to keep that table filled and then like I say you sort of have a shoot in the back if you operate the machine by yourself or you have simply a table that you can push onto and um, this way the parts are not dropped like right now in our demo setup here.
So, it was a very easy demo, other than the issue that we had with the uh, parts with grass. Which again is demonstrated in this part. 